Hi, this is Timothy Brusella, and I'd like to just do a brief introduction to the idea of present value of an annuity for my uh, business math class, Math 1324. The present value of an annuity, in this case we're only looking at the present value of an ordinary annuity, so we just call it the present value of an annuity. Uh, we won't worry about the present value of an annuity to you. As I've said before, those things are practically obsolete. So, with the present value of an annuity, we're looking at the lump sum that is equivalent, I'll write it out, the lump sum that can be deposited today That, is that will be equivalent to, or is equivalent, to in payments of our dollars at a rate of I per period. With the future value problems, the lump sum occurs in the future. You're saving, you're putting money into an account periodically, and in the future there's a large lump sum. But with the present value of an annuity, the lump sum is occurring at the beginning. A good example of this that most people will experience during their life if they haven't already uh, done so is an amortized, uh, any sort of amortized loan. Uh, the one that springs to mind for me uh, is a mortgage. If you get a mortgage for a house or a condo, what have you, the, uh, that mortgage, the financial institution considers that mortgage an account. The account balance at the beginning, say you get a loan for uh, $300,000 to buy a new house. The account balance on day one is $300. If it's a 30-year loan, at the end of the 30-year time period, that account balance will finally be down to zero. But the large lump sum occurs at the beginning. Another example is determining retirement payments from some sort of a retirement account. So I'll say, I'll say pension payments. Suppose you've contributed to 401k or 403b for years. You've built up that amount. Now you've read, oh, wait a minute, it's the, there it is. Oh, the sensor, uh, uh, the motion detector did detect me and cut off the uh, light. Sorry about that. But uh, suppose you've saved for 30 years uh, for retirement and now you're ready to retire that account balance is going to then be distributed. You want to receive in uh, monthly retirement payments at R dollars each, then uh, that would be another example of the present value of an annuity. The present value of an annuity formula, P is equal to R times, inside here, inside that bracket, it's one minus, minus one plus i to the negative n on top, all divided by i. Realize it's not one plus i to the negative n minus one. It's one minus one plus i to the negative n divided by i. So, and once again, p is representing the present value. R is representing the amount of the periodic payment. I, like I said above, was the, or is the rate per period. And N is the total number of payments over the life of the investment, whether it's a mortgage or a pension. Once again, this is Timothy Priscilla, just with a brief introduction to the present value of annuities for my business math class.